In this video, we're going to give you a simple little way that you can really attack uh, man coverage, and it's an audible trick that we're going to use out of Detroit. Now, um, you can apply this to really any formation. It also applies uh, specifically to some of our stuff out of Washington uh, because Washington has a pretty good tight as well. Um, so if you want to check out our Washington offensive ebook, our trips ebook, we've got a trips ebook, bunch ebook, tight ebook, bunch tight in ebook, trips tight in ebook. So if you want to check all that stuff out, uh, make sure that you're in our Patreon. By becoming a Patreon member, you're going to get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates that we release to those ebooks um, as long as your membership is active. So if you want to check that out, again, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. But this is a great little audible trick due to the fact that a lot of times you're going to want to run your bunch to the wide side of the field. So um, you're going to see here I'm going to be in the bunch formation. We're going to go ahead and put one of our better route runners um, in the slot, of course, because that's kind of general uh, for that. And then in our tight set, we're going to put the play bench as our audible over. So uh, you're going to see here, and you can do this out of uh, trips as well. Um, I might show that as well. But again, this is a, an audible trick uh, that I really like. So if you think about it, we're going to want to run our bunch to the wide side of the field. But what makes bench so good is if we audible over, you're going to see that this left side corner route is really the feature route in this play. Um, and it's the best route in the play. And we want to run that route to the short side of the field. Um, by running it to the short side of the field, you're going to be able to flood zone really, really, really well. So what I like to do with this play is simply streak Mike Evans, and then I'm going to take my um, outside receiver, Julio Jones, and put him on a drag, and then I'm going to wheel my running back. So you see how uh, we kind of created a little concept out of this play. And what you'll see is if it is, if it is zone, it now gives us a lot of uh, ability to be able to attack Julio Jones. Now, um, I just want to illustrate this real quick with you guys by showing you how this is, number one, it's only one audible over. But the other thing that's really interesting is if I was to flood the trip side or the wide side of the field, you're going to notice that this corner route is going to get covered uh, by this outside quarter. You see he's going to match onto it and play it relatively well. So that's kind of the idea is you want to flood, if you're going to want to throw a corner, you ideally want to throw this to the short side of the field. Now, I'm going to audible over to cover three real quick and just run you through the basic different zone coverages. And again, I think this route combination is really effective. Now, another thing you can do if you want to, if you want to aggressive catch, you can streak uh, Rudolph. That's definitely always an option this year. Uh, but what you'll see, cover three, easy, re easy read. And this guy is going to be wide open to the sideline. Whatever your flooding zones, specifically from compression sets like tight or bunch, you want to be running the corner route to the short side of the field. It's going to significantly uh, help your chances to be able to attack zone coverage. What makes this specific formation, I think, so effective and this play bench so effective um, is the fact of what I'm about to show you out of a match concept. So what people will do to try to stop this, really the only, uh, there's really only two ways that they can even attempt to counter this because, as you see, we're able to attack every zone in the game. Um, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to try to go to a match play, and I'll show you what this looks like when we audible to tight. So um, if you look over here on the bunch, and I'm just going to illustrate it by flipping the bunch to the short side. So what you'll see with this is if I was to run cover four match, uh, cover four quarters, and I was to run this play right here, you're going to notice that the match coverage is going to do a really good job of defending that corner route. As you see there, um, I pretty much throw an interception if I try to force feed that. However, in tight, there's a principle uh, within tight sets and the way match plays against tight sets that really leans itself to being an advantage for us. So what you're going to see is when we have the running back on the right side of the screen, the match coverage is not going to play this properly, and it's going to basically just play it almost like man-to-man. -man. So as you can see there, our great man-beating corner route is going to be set up to do exactly what it does well, which is beat man coverage. And you can make these adjustments relatively quickly. Um, so again, you'll see here, just easy read. He's going to be wide open to the sideline. So we're able to attack match very well, we're able to attack zone very well, and we're also able to attack man-to-man uh, -man very well. So, um, you know, if they're going to want to run some man on us, this is a great concept for man coverage. Uh, again, because this corner route to Huli or uh, Godwin, not only is this where our best receiver is, but it's also where one of our best route runners is. So what you'll see is he will oftentimes light up 
right there they actually played that crazy good I think that was just because of an alignment bug uh, let me show that to you again uh, but what you should see is this corner route um, to to Chris Godwin is one of the better man beating routes in the game so again you do a concept like this um, your wheel is a quick read for you against the pressure you see there he lights up free form outside and you're going to be able to beat man to man so this is a way that you can um, do this little basic audible trip trick um, that I think is really, really effective for compression-based sets. Now, uh, let me show you the same basic idea. Um, and what we're going to do is this one. I think to get Godwin there, we need to be putting him at the number two receiver. Um, so you might do something like this. Let's say you're in trips. And again, you're wanting to get into the, to the tight. It's just a couple more clicks over but you can audible over to bench, and now you see Chris Godwin is going to be set up to be able to run this concept. So you're still in the same basic um, you know, play, and you're still gonna be pretty dang effective against uh, with this audible. You can do this from all kinds of formations. The last set I wanna show it from is bunch tight end. Again, this kind of, what I like about Detroit is there's so many good formations, and you can use your audibling um, by through using different audibles we can create different matchups and mismatches and that's what makes this uh, formation I think so good but anyway you're gonna audible over to bench you're gonna see here again Godwin's gonna go into the slot and you know now you're gonna be able to attack it this way so you see how effective this concept really is they're gonna have to have a really good slot corner to defend this and even at that point you know, this then allows us, if you come back to trips tight in, well now we have, you know, this defend, this player right here in a nice corner route that's basically the same corner route as bench, as you can see. So it's a way that you can use audibling to create a ton of mismatches that will significantly help you beat man to man. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And again, if you want to get any of these ebooks, you can get our full ebook library of over 17 offensive and defensive ebooks in our Patreon page. It's only $10 to become a Patreon member today. So if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.